I have a checkered past. It's included living in a mental hospital, battling addiction and homelessness, and being trapped in a corporate job that was sucking the soul out of me day after day. By any stretch of the imagination, I should be living in a prison cell rather than Malibu. But that's not my story. At 37, I learned about the law of attraction and that I could rewrite my story anytime I wanted to, and so can you. Now, I'm leveling up and going back to my earliest dreams of being a singer and actress despite all the odds being against me. I'm a regular chick who was living a regular life until I learned that I could dare to be extraordinary. And I'm gonna do that, and you're gonna watch and be inspired to do the same thing. This is Momstar. I am doing a one-woman show, and um, I'm super excited to share my story of how I got to this point, and all the way up to the point of doing the one-woman show. And this series is really about documenting the progress and showing that it can be done, or not. I just um, wanted to introduce everybody to you guys. Okay. So this is Autumn. Okay. Hi. <laughs> She's 11. She loves slime and squishies. Um, I dream of being a lot of things, but not at the same time. I dream about being a singer. I dream about being a model. I dream about being a, a, um, a, um, a makeup artist. And this is Amelia. Most of you out there probably know her. And I didn't start musically to get famous. I just did it for fun. And my, what I like to call fans, they are really supportive and really nice. And um, they stick up for me when I, when like a hater comments. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man, Run in the stand. Hey, bump, bump, bump. Got any grapes? And she's got her own YouTube channel, Amelia Jade. I'm Amelia McGill, or Amelia Jade. That's going to be my stage name um, when I'm famous. And I am 14. And yep. And then this is Devin. Please stop. She's my oldest. And this. Hey, 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 no, no, no. I'm 15, um, and I'm a singer, songwriter, actress, performer. Oh, seriously, all everything. everything good. Okay, okay. well then, no, 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 so I may in interrupt. Um, no, it never feels overwhelming. I mean. Rosa! You know, no. I love them. I love having them around all the time. My name is Devin Lee McGill. Lee spelled L-I, not L-E-E, -E, and it's not Asian, it's Swahili. Um, I'm 15 years old. I'm a singer and songwriter, and I live in Malibu, California. And this is... Matt. I'm Matt, six not years... Matt. <laughs> I'm, I'm six years old, and I like Roblox, and I like I games. And games. What was the question? Alison Volk. 
I'm a director. Limu has hired me to direct her one-woman show, and uh, she has some big ambitions, so I'm here to help make it happen. Are we good? Hey, Amelia. Like, if you cue me or something. I don't know, because I don't really have it fully memorized yet. Okay, if you like, then I can, do you want me to hold on to that and just sort of prompt you if you... I definitely felt like Allison threw me into it, um, but that's how I always feel. I felt like that when I first started working with her, that when she would ask me to do writing prompts or improv parts of the show. The project manager helping to manage the projects that I was working on, but she had absolutely no experience and no regard for the fact that I had a hundred other projects that I was working on. So this one day she comes over to my cubicle and I'm like seven months pregnant. I actually started the job pregnant. So I'm like seven months pregnant and I'm sitting here at my, you know, at my desk and I'm working and she comes over and she goes, doesn't even say hello. She just goes, take a walk with me. And she walks away. So like, I wasn't laughing as much as I should have because I knew all the stories. Um, and then she needs to, she should make it more into like, uh, not a musical, but like a Broadway performance, you know? Cause I feel like right now it's just like, she's just talking, just like, telling her story, which I know the whole point of it is, but I feel like she should just make a bit more of it. If that makes sense. Jolene, where are we going? And she says, I just need to smoke. Uh. And she started to smoke, and I'm seven months pregnant. I say to her, I'm pregnant. Lumu is super talented, and she has a really great vision for what she's creating. Uh, I think her biggest challenge is going to honestly be staying focused because there's so much going on. There's so many kids running around. <laughs> we'll just see if we can stay focused. It's this is totally what it is to be a mom star. So the clock doesn't stop on mothering just because I have a dream and a project and something that I want to do. The girls are still going to be teenagers and act like teenagers. And my son is still going to fall off the monkey bars at school and bust his teeth. He lost two teeth. Did you, um, right here. Do you have lost those teeth before? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Don't start crying, it's okay. Don't cry. It happens to me. When mom gives me some, when mom sends it to me, I start crying. Yeah. Principal's office is still gonna call when he gets in trouble. Like I'm still gonna be a mom, and <laughs> and God's gotta work that out, making sure there's enough hours in the day for all of it. He's just gotta work it out. Defending myself. He does. Why? Because I does. Um. Oh, and then that happened. <laughs> When I became a mom, it seemed like everybody had this expectation about what that meant and what I had to give up in order to do it well. I went into motherhood with this belief that all of my dreams, if I didn't get them all achieved by the time the kids came, oh well, too bad, so sad. Maybe not only did you not have to give up your dreams when you become a mom, but maybe it would make you an even better mom because you'd be able to lead by example on how dreams can come true. And then your kids would continue to believe in their dreams and on and on and on. If I could do that, if I could do that for me and my kids, and if I could do that for moms everywhere, that would change the whole game. That would change the whole world. And that, that. That's the point. That's the whole point. Next time on The Making of a Mom Star. So I'm doing stand-up for the first time ever. Yay! Hi, everybody. I'm Lindo. Um, What's your name? Lindo? What is your first name? Sorry. Six minutes. I can do anything for six minutes. Just about. <laughs> <laughs>